What's going on everybody? Today we will be making some neck bones with carrots and potatoes and I also use a green pepper, red pepper, and an onion. Now with these neck bones, I like to use the regular neck bones and I also like to put a little small pack of smoked neck bones just so we can get that certain kind of taste that the smoked neck bones let off in the water. I do not season my neck bones because I season up my water real good before I put it in there. On the stove, I do have some water starting to boil up that I'm going to season. And I have one neck bone left in the sink that I did not clean so that I can show you guys how I clean my neck bones. Now, can you show them the potatoes over here that I have already peeled and washed and um, set my potatoes in some water? I have cleaned these neck bones right here. And I just kind of chopped up my green and red and my onion. And I just got some little baby carrots that I will be putting in there. She be eating right there, Lord. Okay. Let's go over to the sink and show them the neck bone. Okay, y'all. Here I am at the sink with this neck bone I did not clean. Here's the part I'm talking about that I do not like being the neck bone. I just put my finger in there and kind of pull that out. It's good. That's what I call it, a bunch of gook. Let's get all that up out of here. And what I can't get my finger to get, I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to get my hand on a knife. And this is how I do it. I will just take that knife in there like this and pull it up. See that there? I don't like that there. That's, that's gross to me. Take it. I don't want to buy this. See that? Ugh. <laughs> and that's what you don't want to eat and you don't want to feed it to your family members and friends what is my door this bad baby don't want to break you okay? yeah, I'm okay now I bet you you coming up out of there Watch this. Look at that. Oh. There you go. All right. And now, he's nice and clean and ready for the pot. Meet you at the stove. Okay, you guys, I'm going to start seasoning my water. I'm putting some Maggie Polo. <laughs> I don't pronounce these words right, but <laughs> hey, that's what it is. I'm gonna put on some. <laughs> Are you? That's my baby, y'all. Onion powder, <laughs> garlic <laughs> powder. tablespoon of minced garlic. And I also will begin to drop what? I'm cooking. Drop the neck balls on in here. Here they go get you. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is let these neck bones cook for... Oh, touch my arm. You all right? No. <laughs> let these neck <laughs> bones cook for like an hour before I put my potatoes and my um, carrots in there. But I am going to put my 
green pepper, red peppers, and my onions. Right on in there to season my water. Now, when this cooks for about an hour, I will be back and ready to put my onion, my onions, my potatoes and my carrots in there. But to, if you want some real nice tender neck bones, oh my God. Let them cook for two hours and see how they is on the stove. Mm -hmm. Be back. Okay, y'all. It's been an hour. Now it's time for me to add in my potatoes and my carrots. It smells so good in this house right now. How's everyone's day going? The weekend is almost here. Even though the world on lockdown, I can find a good movie. Make this dish for you, your loved ones. Y'all watch a good movie and relax. It's about all we can do these things, y'all. But don't give up. Because God ain't left us yet. Okay. The reason why we do the potatoes and the carrots last because it don't take them very long to cook. And the water is hot, so it should be coming along real fast. What we're going to do, I'm going to let this cook for like a half an hour or more. I'm going to put a little more seasoning. So I did add potatoes, pepper. Garlic powder. Mm. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make it polio. Make it polio didn't want to come out. Oh. Mm. There we go. All right. And a little more onion powder. Okay. I'm just gonna let this boil for another half an hour, check it. If it's ready, we'll be back. Okay, y'all. It's been going for like a half an hour, and this is how it's looking. The potatoes are getting soft, but I'm gonna let them go for another 25, 30 minutes. And then it should be about ready, y'all. Okay, y'all, it's been two hours since I started, and this is how everything ended up. Nice and tender meat. The potatoes are nice and soft. And everything smells and looks delicious. And this is the ending of the video. If y'all liked if y'all like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank everyone who has been with me and has subscribed to the channel. And as always, I love you guys. God bless you all. And everyone have a good night.